Under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, this is more so when Section 1525 of the Child's Rights Act and Section 1412 of the laws in Lagos State that appeals will lie from the Family Court of the High Court to the Court of Appeal. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in Section 240 lists out courts from which appeal will lie to the Court of Appeal. The Family Court is not one of such courts, but the High Court is one. Therefore, the Family Court can only be a division of the High Court for appeal to lie to the Court of Appeal. It should, however, be made clear that this paper is not challenging the validity of the Child's Rights Act as a statute. However, it is the express provision in Section 1525 of the Act that may be a problem if care is not taken. The case below buttresses the concern of this writer. In the 1984 case of Adeyemi Alafi of Oyo and others versus Attorney General of Oyo State and others, the Supreme Court held that there was a vast difference between the constitutional validity of an enactment of a statute and the constitutional validity of the express provision of the statute thus validly enacted. The statute as a statute may be validly enacted, but the content may variously be in consonance with the Constitution or be in conflict with it. This is therefore to sound a note of warning to states that are yet to enact their state laws that the family court, if it must be established at the high court level, must be a division of the high court because anything contrary to this will be unconstitutional. And for the government to show commitment to the cause of children, it is advocated that the family court should be a court of record and giving recognition under the Nigerian Constitution. This will enable all cases where a child is involved, whether as offender or victim, to be heard in the family court, so that the philosophy of welfare, protection, and rehabilitation can be achieved. It will also put a stop to the confusion arising, especially with the police, as to where to take a case where a child is involved either as a victim or offender with an adult or child. For example, the case of a 32-year-old man arraigned at a magistrate court for the rape of a child of 11 years would have been taken directly to the family court. That was reported just um, a few days ago. In the opinion of this writer, there may be need for a constitutional amendment to make the family court a court of record. This will have to follow the trend of the National Industrial Court, which is now a court of record recognized by the amendment in the third alteration constitutional amendment. Apart from the above fact, a proper structured family court should have a magistrate or judge, depending on the adopted structure, who specializes in child law, who is trained and undergoes regular training and refresher courses to achieve the aim of the court, which is towards the welfare and rehabilitation and best interests of the child. The situation in many of the existing family courts where magistrates undergo training in child welfare and are only posted to the family court for a period of time and then reposted out only for a new magistrate to be posted is not the best practice for specialization and continuity. It is apparent that it is when there is specialization and training for judges and magistrates that the family court will be able to be in the best interest to adjudicate on and have unlimited jurisdiction to air and determine cases involving the child. The unwanted child in the United Nations system, regardless of the bottleneck in the juvenile justice system in Nigeria, a lot of improvement has occurred in the juvenile justice system in the 21st century. There is, however, need for a periodic review of the law relating to children and young persons in Nigeria and in adoption of the holistic approach in addressing issues of this category of persons in Nigeria in order to fully achieve 
the aims of or philosophy behind the legislations protecting them. I thank you all for listening. It wasn't better because people they were just older than me and I felt scared in the midst. The family court, especially in the magistrate level, must be monitored. I'm going to write a paper or something to the attorney general of Lagos State because they are sitting mostly as a matrimonial court right now. They take divorce matters, they give custody from the woman to the husband. I witnessed this one about three weeks ago, and I'm going to appeal on this. And the issue of composition, they don't abide by it. There was no woman on that panel, and that is why.